Hi everybody, this is Daniel Christian, from Priest or Facts, the Colossal Apostles. Today, this is Priest or Facts, extra episode number 55. This is my 10 favorite sauropods. So I'll be going through a list of my 10 favorite sauropods. So let's get to the criteria. So the criteria for this episode is this, this is just a list, no ranking. Some of these dinosaurs will get their own special episode. Some of them already have an extra episode, aka one of the dinosaurs that will be featured on this list. Um, of course, uh, this is my own list. Everyone has a different list, so your list is very different from mine. And also, let me know what your list of favorite sauropods are. Like, it could be like a like your five favorite, your ten favorite, or three favorite. Or otherwise, maybe you have a sole favorite, like a, like only one that is your favorite. But I like all sauropods. I like all dinosaurs in general. So let's actually get down to the list. So the first sauropod that I like is Sauroposeidon. It is one of the largest uh, sauropods to ever live in the in North America. Fossils have been found in Texas and in Oklahoma, uh, and so this dinosaur is ver- kind, of, kind of resembles Brachiosaurus uh, in a way. Uh, very long neck, tall type of sauropod, and yeah, it's actually a pretty cool dinosaur. It, it, from what my understanding is, is that the holotype is the holotype specimen is just two or three neck vertebrae. There's not been that much else uh, uh, found for the holotype. But in terms of the, like say the Plexisaurus, Plexisaurus is believed to be Sauroposeidon, and so yeah, that'll be in, that's kind of interesting about that that uh, Plexisaurus is kind of like another. Or otherwise, another version of Sauroposeidon. The next one on my list is Brachiosaurus. Now, Brachiosaurus is an iconic uh, sauropod dinosaur. We've seen it in Jurassic Park. We've seen it in multiple dinosaur documentaries involving, like, say, the Jurassic or sauropods in general. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. And uh, and so this is this dinosaur will be in a special episode in March. And so be prepared for that. So this is like, so that one will be like a revamped version of the Brachiosaurus. And so, yeah. So stay tuned in March for the the special episode of Brachiosaurus. Because somebody recommended that I should uh, redo my Brachiosaurus uh, special episode. And so, yeah, I'll do that. And and so, yeah, Brachiosaurus is a tall sauropod. So it's not really a really long sauropod like, say, some others are in this list. But uh, it is a pretty cool dinosaur nonetheless. The next sauropod is Diplodocus. Now, Diplodocus is an iconic sauropod dinosaur. It does resemble like a patasaurus that is part of that same uh, lineage, the, the type of uh, sauropod group where it's a long neck, long tail, and uh, kind of very evenly uh, uh, sized in terms of legs. And so the leg length is actually going to be very similar. And so long-bodied sauropod, and and it's got that whip-like tail, and found in the United States, and still an iconic dinosaur nonetheless uh, for that. And so it is also very similar to a patas- It's similar to a patasaurus. It's also similar to a brontosaurus, and so those types of dinosaurs. So yeah, part it's part of that family group. The next sauropod is Shunosaurus. This is an Asian dinosaur that is such a weird feature for uh, from other types of sauropods, uh, is that it's got a club at the end of its tail, and so that is a very rare feature on sauropods. You don't find a lot of sauropods with uh, a bony type of weapon, defensive weaponry, on the tail, and so that is kind of interesting. So this is a very unique sauropod. And, uh, of course, the, another feature of this sauropod is that it's got a shorter neck compared to other sauropods. But still, very unique type of sauropod. I do like the sauropod alike because it's very unique compared to others. The next sauropod is Argentinosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs to be featured in this list. And there's another one that's going to be featured in here as well. And so Argentinosaurus, one of the largest, one of the heaviest dinosaurs to ever live. Uh, Cretaceous period in uh, Argentina, hence the name Argentinosaurus. And uh, yeah, this is a very large sauropod. Um, there has been some debate about whether or not the neck should be going up or just horizontal. 
So, so far right now, for this kind of titanosaur, uh, it's been a mixed bag of where the neck is going to be lined up. So right now the head is uh, like way up in the air uh, on this picture. There's been some models that have been doing that as well, but but uh, we'll see what the ju the jury's still out on in terms of that type of uh, uh, debate. But still a pretty cool dinosaur, and it's a titanosaur. And titanosaurs are the largest sauropods to ever live, the large largest land animals to ever live. The next dinosaur or sauropod, and sauropod is Barosaurus, and uh, you have seen. Uh, this dinosaur in a special episode that I have already done, and it's been one of the most successful uh, special episodes that I have done. It's got a lot of views, and I'm very proud of that episode. The Barosaurus, very similar to Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, Brontosaurus, long-bodied uh, sauropod with long neck, long tail, uh, nearly even uh, leg length. Of course, the front limbs are a little bit shorter compared to the uh, hind limbs, but yeah, it's very, very it's similar features and uh, I like Barosaurus a lot and I think it's a really nice looking sauropod the next one is Patago Titan now this is a fairly recent uh, sauropod that is on this list so this is a recently discovered sauropod um, it was recently discovered or recently kept, uh, described a few years ago and so this is a a very cool looking uh, sauropod Found in Argentina, same place as Argentinosaurus, but a little bit uh, uh, different. There, there has been some debate of whether of which of these Titanosaurus is the largest. Is it Argentinosaurus? Is it Patagal Titan? Uh, or is it another type of uh, Argentina type of dinosaur? We do not know. This is a type of Titanosaur as well, so this is a very cool looking uh, sauropod. A long way, but I will get to see a Patago Titan skeleton at some point. It will be a replica, of course, but it is, uh, I think I'll get to see that at some point. The next sauropod is Mementisaurus. And Mementisaurus, an Asian uh, sauropod, it has got the longest neck comparison to body size out of any other sauropod on this list. And and so this is a very interesting type of sauropod where the neck is longer than the tail, which is crazy. Uh, and so, yeah, Mementisaurus is a very unique dino very unique sauropod uh, nonetheless, and it's part of its own family group. And, yeah, it's a very uh, cool-looking dinosaur in my opinion. The next sauropod is Camarasaurus. Now, this is an iconic Jurassic sauropod uh, nonetheless. Uh, fossils are mostly found in, North, in the United States, but uh, it's kind of like a medium-sized uh, sauropod. Uh, not a very long neck and not a very long tail either, so this is kind of like a like an in-between type of uh, sauropod. And somewhat tall sauropod, but can uh, feed in different types of ranges, like up in the trees and the ground or mid-level. So, yeah, this is a very cool dinosaur, and I love the skull of Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus has one of the coolest skulls. Uh, in my opinion, of all sauropods, including with Brachiosaurus and a couple others. And then the final uh, sauropod on this list is Saltosaurus. Uh, so part of its own family group, uh, and it's got the and a very unique type of uh, sauropod, and it's, and it's kind of got like these like scutes on its back, so it's got like this defensive uh, type of uh, uh, thing, uh, bony protrusions coming out of its skin and so this is a defensive uh, type of sauropod so whatever predators were actually coming uh, coming to take it down were actually coming from to actually possibly go at to the uh, back of uh, this dinosaur and so like some abelosaurs or even carcarodontosaurs that were living around at that time but yeah it was it is a very unique dinosaur and so Around this kind of time in the Cretaceous, you start to see certain sauropods having like these bony scoots uh, on their skin uh, to protect themselves from predators. And so, yeah, Saltosaurus is also a, a cool dinosaur, in my opinion. But like I said before in the criteria, let me know what your favorite sauropods are in in the in the comments section of this video. So please feel free to let me know what what are your favorite sauropods 
But otherwise, if you like all sauropods, just say, I like all sauropods. So, yeah, but I like so I like a majority of the sauropods as well, because sauropods are still an iconic group of dinosaurs. There is no question about it. So the next episode will be January 27th, 2022. Now will be a Q&A episode. So if you got any questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life, feel free to email me at dinochris71 at gmail.com. Or go to my Facebook page, Priest of Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you actually post your questions in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section. Don't put them on Messenger. Messengers for private conversations. So just in the comment section. And also for you YouTubers out there, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and also share the videos, share the channel to anybody that is interested in dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. And uh, also, stomp on that notification bell so that way you can get weekly notifications of every single video that comes out. And so that way you get noticed when the video is out. And also, to you YouTubers out there, feel free to leave the leave your questions in the comment section because I do read them all uh, for the Q and A episodes. Your questions do your questions do mean a lot. Uh, and all those Q and A episodes, and you're giving me great uh, questions for these Q and A episodes. So keep it up, keep it going. I love it. And uh, also make, you keep, make sure you keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Instagram at dino.chris.pf. I post pretty cool stuff on there. You can also follow me on Twitter at C-S-G-R-A-L-L. It's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there as well. Also, take care of people around you. And also, for younger people out there, make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have a good education. It's very important to have a good education. So with a good education, you get a good job in the future. And also, in this kind of time, please wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands if you're not vaccinated yet. And also, if you're not vaccinated yet, please get vaccinated because it's very important. Because I've gotten my two doses uh, of, a, of the vaccination. I've also been boosted. So please feel free to... Uh, please make sure you get vaccinated. That's very important. And also, check out Colossal of Fossils, and I'll put a link in the description down below so that way you guys can check that out. And there's a donate tab, and if you want to donate to this great non-educational nonprofit, feel free to do so, because we uh, uh, do some great things in the state of Wisconsin, and so hopefully that uh, we can uh, uh, continue the work that we have done uh, for over 10 years, and that's what we're going to uh, keep on going here, is that we want to continue the continue this uh, educational nonprofit to teach people about the pre about prehistoric life. That's what we like to do in the state of Wisconsin. It's, and for this nonprofit is teach people about the, uh, ancient, the ancient creatures that lived on this planet. And that's it for now. Now I'll see you guys next time.